Shanaki Wolf here with some more Firefall. Today we'll be looking over a couple Bastion builds. The first build will be an Assault Rifle Bastion build. It's a little more active than your general turret Bastion build. And I'd like to preface this with I don't have all of the final end game gear ready for this build. So listen to what I say, not exactly what you're seeing. Now, with your primary weapon, you want to test the rifle. That's so you can repair turrets if you got some downtime. You know, if you're repairing and they get close range, you can still do damage with it. Good stuff. So, you want two carnage modules and one blazing module on it. The carnage module is rate of fire and magazine size. The blazing module is rate of fire and charge. Your secondary, you can start with the deputy prototype hard mode assault rifle ideally you would want a custom crafted radiant beam assault rifle and radiant beam is a prefix you can buy with eight accord campaign tokens for the mods for that you want two balance modules which is accuracy and rate of fire and one stabilized module which is accuracy and magazine size for abilities you are going to want to use a custom charged rocket turret with two devil's wide deploy modules and one long deploy module. If they ever fix the bug with this, you might consider adding a long deploy prefix instead of a custom charge, but as it stands, you can't add deploy modules to rocket turrets. For your second ability, you want a long deploy multi turret, and you want a rare or epic quality deployment module, a long deploy module, and a range deploy module. For your third ability, you want a sentinel pod, and you want that with a long deploy prefix. You want two distant deploy modules and one rare or epic quality deployment module. For your final ability, you will want a custom charged fortify with two charged modules and one swift module. You want charged on that because you want a balance but a focus towards getting the fastest charge time you can. Now for perks, you're going to want to take Overseer, which is the Bastion exclusive perk. You're going to want to take Plasma Enthusiast, which you need in a Court Assault level 24, 10% Plasma and Energy Damage. You're going to want Mounted Firepower, that requires the Accord Engineer at level 30. You're also going to want Kill Stealer, which requires a level 30 Rhino, and Anatomy Lessons, which requires a level 40 Recluse. Now, the basic playstyle of this frame compared to a turret focused bastion will be you have the ability to burst down the deadliest targets towards your turrets. If you take instead resilient alloys for the 15% more turret health and you focus on repairing your turrets then you run into the problem where you face these enemies that are capable of dropping multiple turrets with heavy damaging AOEs very quickly. With an assault rifle focused bastion, you keep the turret damage and instead of taking passive survivability for your turrets in the form of perks, you take active survivability for your turrets in the form of the ability to kill the enemy that is a threat to your turret. So, so it's a more active playstyle versus standing back and letting your turrets do all the work and focusing on getting the maximum amount of turrets out there at one time. You'll have less turrets in this build, but you personally will do more damage. So if you enter a situation where even on a multiple turret focused bastion where all of your turrets get taken out very quickly and you're forced to fight on your own, you won't be in as dire a situation as you would have been playing this assault rifle bastion compared to the turret focused bastion. Now, one thing is, this used to be the case, but from my testing today, it seems to no longer be the case. But not once did Anatomy Lessons proc 
based upon my turret damage. That used to be a very powerful synergy there, where the turrets doing damage would activate anatomy lessons, so you would personally gain the 50% damage boost. That doesn't appear to be the case any anymore. That might change in future patches, but as of the current patch, it does not proc anatomy lessons, which is not ideal, but it's not necessary because you don't have any better options as far as perks goes regardless. Hunter could be another viable option, but most of the threats to your turrets come in packs. It's multiple juggernauts. It's multiple enemies who are very deadly. So Hunter takes about two and a half seconds to get to a full stack. And the problem with that is once you kill that enemy, you might have two or three more threats that you don't get the full bonus for. You'll get 10% on your first shot, and then you'll have to build it up again. Anatomy of Lessons, you can take that 50% off that first target, and then shift to each target very quickly while retaining the 50% damage boost. That's why I personally chose Anatomy of Lessons over Hunter. Now, there are a couple sub builds you can do by switching around a few perks if you're going for a more specific playstyle. If you are going for a more mobile assault rifle bastion for instance you can switch out mounted firepower with invigorate because you're not going to be watching over your turrets nearly as uh, diligently they're not gonna be alive as long they're not gonna be as effective and every time a turret dies, mounted firepower is worth less as a perk. So, your multi-turrets are there to do additional damage, but mostly to activate Invigorate. Now, you can also switch out the Bastion Overseer for repairing nanites for a more mobile playstyle. I, even in a mobile playstyle, I think I would like to stick with Overseer under most circumstances because that's a 30% damage reduction shield for nearby turrets. But repairing anites isn't terrible. It allows you to place your turrets in a wider area so they're less uh, vulnerable to area of effect damage from enemies. But so it really depends on if you want to maximize your mobility versus maximizing your def your survivability in that instance. So the Overseer versus Repairing Nanites and the Mounted Firepower versus Invigorate, that's basically how you're going to have to come down on that decision on if you want more survivability or you want more mobility and how vulnerable to area of effect damage you want to be. That covers the Assault Rifle Bastion, and I will be putting up another video, depending on which order you watch them, of a Maximum Turret Bastion. So stay tuned for that.